to those rotating heads. All right, guys, so as I promised, it's time for me to do a more substantial test of the Fisco Rotary Shaver. Now, I received this in the mail from a nice person and from Fisco. They reached out to me and said, hey, we like what you do. We'd love for you to review our products. I'll leave a link to the first video, which was the unboxing of this, and my first shave, which was in the car. I've never done that before. But today I'm gonna to give this the uh, a more thorough test. I'm gonna actually use uh, some foam and I'm gonna get rid of this four day old growth here. So I'll leave a link for information about this, the Amazon link, so you can pick this up if you'd like. $39 or so. And uh, just a little quick overview. It's rotary shaver, three heads pivoting right here. If you open it up, you can clean that bad boy. They are, these are replaceable, these heads. All right. On the unit itself, it's got the nice display, lets you know how much battery power you have left, which is cool. USB charger, pop-up trimmer, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go with my old standby Gillette Foam Mousse, $1.99 at Target, guys, I love it. It's got a light scent, nice foam, but not too, not too thick. Not using a brush today, I'm gonna do this quick. And we're gonna test the, uh, be interested to see how this electric razor, electric shaver works with the foam. Now I haven't had great success over the years with rotary or foil razors, electric razors. My skin and electric razors don't mix too well, but here goes nothing. Proof is in the pudding. Now, nice quiet operation. So if you have somebody sleeping in the next room, you're not waking them up early in the morning. Here we go. That's nice, guys. That feels good. Now, anything electric I find is going to save you. I mean, you're not worried about getting nicked up or cut up. The one worry you have is the rash. Um, if I look here, I'm missing some spots, I'm missing some hairs. All right, so as you can see, that's clogged up. So basically, you just get that underwater and just wash that out. And let's continue on. Now the neck is really a problem for me for anything but a traditional blade. Even the one blade gives me some problems eliminating the hair on my neck. But this is nice and smooth. And the foam the foam helps with the irritation. Now I have a weeper here. Let's 
proof is in the pudding. Let's clean up and see how she did. Relatively worry-free, nick-free shave. There's still a few hairs sporadically, but for the most part, for the most part, it did a good job. Clean that out. And I'll use that pop-up trimmer. I have to say I'm impressed. Now, electric razors and me don't don't hang too tough. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it here, I have a lot of red down here. So I'm a little irritated on the neck. Nothing that a little aftershave, I like Harry's aftershave. Put that on. Now with any new razor or shaving apparatus, there's another, there's a couple of hairs there. Now with any shaving device, electric device, it takes a couple of shaves for your face and your skin to get acclimated. So I'm gonna keep testing this Fisco razor. And I will report back to you, but so far so good. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can check out the Fisco Rotary Electric Razor at Amazon. I want to thank the folks, Ann and the folks at Fisco, for sending this to me. This is Shave 2 in the books. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. And I'll see you guys next time. But in the meantime, remember. 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 Keep pushing. Play. And I will see you next time.